Dame Dash. Dame Dash, uh, 33.3 uh, stake in Rockefeller Records is set to be auctioned off later this month after the record executive failed to pay on a $823,000 settlement two years ago. Uh, yeah, that's what it is. Uh, long story short, he has to pay some money back. Why is this so interesting? If you guys know anything about Rockefeller hip hop, all of that shit, it was Biggs, Jay Z, and Dame Dash. Of course, eventually they split. Jay Z was like, "Yo, Leo, what up?" <laughs> Dame Dash didn't respect it. We've heard the story a plethora of times. If you, all you got to do is type in Dame Dash on YouTube right now, and it now, comes up. And it comes up. <laughs> you don't even got to type in anything else. Just type in Dame Dash. He gonna give you the rundown of how about how that went down. And for the last, I guess, twenty over the twenty years now, people always assumed him keeping his portion of Rockefeller was really out of pettiness, you know, and out of spite. And I just, it's just so reminiscent of me remembering when he visited the Breakfast Club and called Envy a worker. <laughs> and how Damn. Envy had to listen to what he was told. <laughs> For the last two years, uh, Dame hasn't had the money to pay back the lawsuit that he lost. So now the government is forcing him to share, I mean, to, uh, to auction off, uh, you know, probably his biggest asset left. The Rockefeller shares. The Rockefeller shares. And the first thing that came to my mind is, shit, we're an all an employee to someone, huh? Damn. Even when we think, hey, man, I'm a freelancer. I'm doing this. I got... Yeah, but there's someone that could really supersede what you're doing if it got there. Mm -hmm. You know, and I never saw that coming in. Also, too, I want, I'm curious to see who's um, who wants to buy it. I think the minimum is like a million dollars. Are there... Um... Yeah like perspectives that are like concrete you know there's like a lot of rumors and they were saying like oh my god yeah. he might sell to kendrick lamar blah, 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 mm -hmm. like but like are there any serious updates on that well it's Not, going to an auction now yeah so oh, now okay. it's gonna go to the highest bidder Damn. yeah Who's gonna, wh whoever the highest bidder is will get yeah, it and that could be somebody from tech it could be Drake. let me talk to my accountant yeah like it could be us drake <laughs> Oh shit! Bridget. Could it? We gotta talk to the accountant. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. Okay. But nah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if I had to pick two people though, maybe Jay Z and Drake are first two on that list for me. In nah, terms I, of who I think it's that. gonna be somebody who's just a fan of the culture who got the money to do it. Oh, like remember some Martin rich white Skrelly? Really? Remember him? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mar Martin Skrelly, who had the Wu Tang. Yeah, for sure. Um, we, album. Yeah, like, yeah. I think it's just gonna be somebody like that Behov who has the money. Behov has wanted to buy it for him for years. He has. Yeah. Uh, uh, Hov is one. I actually, they've been to court, and Hov has oh. tried to get force him to be like, "Yo, he needs to, you know, sell that." Mm. Damn, now I didn't know that. Yeah, I could definitely see a third party, maybe adjacent to Hov or mm -hmm. shit. We know Drake is co uh, collecting rap memorabilia now, right? Mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't be surprised if any two, one of those two people, they got the money. I don't know, and mm -hmm. I'm gonna be honest, like I don't really give a fuck because, <laughs> <laughs> like, and and not that I don't give a fuck about the topic. No, I don't. But it's more like who so, winds up with the shares yeah it, it's just yeah. it i think the biggest story is the position that dame dash is in yeah for sure. i think that's the biggest story I, you know what i'm saying for so sure. when i say i don't give a fuck it, yes of course we give a fuck but the fact that he's in this position knowing what he stood for and what he's fought for for all of these years i think it's just interesting Very and interesting. it goes back to justin timberlake versus jc mm -hmm. to me it's always like a, a perception of mm -hmm. good versus evil or compromising your morales versus not. Even going back to the conversation with Lil Yachty and Mr. Hotspot, mm -hmm. there's always two sides of the coin. And I know Dame Dash has been on the side of one and trying to fight and put out a certain message. And I know the portrayal that Jay-Z has been looked at and, and the light that, you know, being an industry elite comes with. Right, so I think that is the story when I see something like this. Yeah, more so than who's gonna buy the Rockefeller one third of Rockefeller because nobody's checking for Rockefeller. I think the the, the most valuable um, asset in this is reasonable, reasonable doubt. doubt. Yeah, right. Which of course, hip hop fucking royalty, royalty. legacy for like sure. Jay Z debut album. Like, of course, it's a thing, but. You know, the, the Allura Rockefeller is no longer existing outside of what it was in the past, right? There's no Rockefeller uh, record label today. There's no Rockaware today. There's no Rockefeller today. Chains. Yeah, they, still, Uzi they got chains. Yeah, we got chains. But meek. even when I see a Rockefeller chain on Lil Uzi, like, come mm. on, we watering it down. We watering the product now, in my opinion, right? Like, what the Rockefeller chain was, was a moment. And now, if everybody could just get one because they're a part of Rock Nation, does it still even have that value? So...
Nah, if I'm Rock Nation, give me a chain, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, guys. Yeah. Can we get need to know chains? It just got to sound fly, though. <laughs> oh, why the silence? No, 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 because nah. I'm with it. I, said, oh, I got I excited. I thought you guys were like rolling nah. your eyes. No, 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 no. I got excited. Yeah, yeah. no, nah, we could do it. It just got to sound fly. <laughs> <laughs> and it's gotta be a cool, it's gotta be a really cool design too. It can't just be like NTK. Yeah, it can't be some whack <gasps> shit. I like simple chains. Me too. NTK. You want it to be like an elaborate design? Nah, nah some, some sim- no. simple but like some cool at the same time. It's cool. Yeah. But yeah, Alex, when you were like reading that story, it's just like so crazy to see that we have witnessed a complete timeline. Like Great point. Rockefeller. I mean, I'm not gonna act like I was fucking you know. We were young. Old when like yeah. Rockefeller was like yeah. running shit, but like just to see how it came to this, where now, boom. Dame Dash is being forced to sell his portion of Rockefeller. Mm-hmm. Wow. And like, to, we lived through, like, an era. No, honestly. And to the boss worker point, right? I feel like workers are always get such a bad rap, but do you want to be the boss of nothing or the employee of something? Mm. No? Ooh, oh, and I feel like that kind of takes precedent here. Whereas, all right, cool. I... I, I salute to what Dame Dash has done in the last decade or, or decade plus, right? What has he done? He, I, he's created a, a TV <laughs> network, no? What's it called? Dame Dash Studios? <laughs> I don't know. I'm seriously asking. I don't asking. know. I ain't gonna, uh, nah, you said nah, you, you were asking yourself. You got a homie over there. Why are you acting like you just I gonna just be asked what, bro? You know what the studios is called. Your homie used to work over there. For sure. So what's it called? I don't know. <laughs> I, don't. I, don't I don't think he knows. I really don't. I bet. I know they've been giving game been for giving the last game. 10 years. Right, but that's kind of yeah. my whole point about doing that. What, he's doing a rock band. Right. He did a rock band. <laughs> No, for real. No, I know. He has like a 24-hour TV network or something going on. Like, I don't know. I'm not familiar with the shows. I think he's Uh, created a ton of them. Movies? Yeah. Now, what's the name (laughs) on it? Paid in full on his his shit. Really? That's what it's on? Yeah. Belly Uh 2 on there. Damn. Wow, okay, okay. Not one. Belly 2? I'm dead ass. You can look it up right now. Okay. (laughs) I don't know. It's just... (laughs) It's crazy, like Reggie said, to see the full... It's a full thing, right? You're right. Because now it's like, all right, cool. You always stand on being a boss, being a boss, and doing what you want to doing what you wanted, but... The last 20 years, us, the general public, we haven't necessarily seen what you've really done outside yeah. of Rockefeller. Man. So it's like, all right, cool. You could run with that boss call, boss call, and I get it. But at least there's some people that's okay with being employees and, and say, uh, maintaining, surviving, and being there for their family. So It, like, played out better. It did. It did. Damn. Yeah. Salute to all the bosses and workers. Well, shout out to Dame Dash, too. Oh, yeah. Big shout for out sure. to Dame. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't sure. want to get it misconstrued. No, like, no, no. Just Dame because be... I don't know what's going on with his TV network <laughs> yeah. or his rock band. Like, Dame has contributed way too much to hip-hop, way Absolutely. too much. Like, it it goes so far back to yeah. where I don't even know if I'm able to get a job in the music industry if it wasn't for Dame Dash just because of the domino effect and the impact that he had, mm. right? Mm. All that he's influenced and contributed to the culture. So Absolutely. I, I do want to make sure. I know, nah, I know yeah, we joke like, around. Get your mom. Yeah, I know. I don't really like cleaning <laughs> shit up like that. No, I know. But, get your mom. you know, um, when, when it comes to Dame Dash, like, I know what he did. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I just don't want nobody to hear this and be like, oh, these young, stupid fucking kids. Like, nah, right. like, nigga, I'm here to joke too. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know what his fucking TV I hate network when, is. I, I hate but, when we be trying to joke and they take that shit seriously. Take very little. I'd be like, yo, bro, I was joking. You ain't catching it. it went over your head bro, like that. I swear, twin? like, I was dead ass joking about Paul George last week. <laughs> no, bro. you wasn't. Like, yo, why do niggas like Paul <laughs> okay. George, bro? There, like, what are some, we talking about, okay, bro? Okay, there's some moments where because it was clipped up for Instagram, I'm like, damn, they didn't get the context. But right, that, man. Savon, you were hating on Paul George. No, I was hating. You were, you were like, you don't watch basketball. Why do you think Paul George is good? 